didn't hit this much. I just got the battery charged up. Extension, 15 millimeter socket, a swivel, and another 15 millimeter socket. With a wrench. Now the extension, the swivel, and a 15 millimeter. For those two top bolts, you can put that shit in the side. And as you see. It will reach that last them two bolts at the top. So you can get a good angle on that. But it'll reach. Better yet, you don't need the swivel and the extension. You just put your socket and your wrench on there on this side. That's coming through the lower control arm hole on the bottom put your socket through there put your other 15 millimeter hit the other nut on the top fail oh it's hot out there back from auto zone Ended up stopping by the dollar store where I was at it too. Got some uh, masking or uh, painter's tape. This is what I'm gonna use. Do the engine bay and the wheel well. Stolen undercoat. Got two of those. Sorry about that. Battery dud, but uh, where was I at? Oh, yeah. Ended up getting two of these because I actually seen a review on this one. Or, well, yeah, seen a review on this one, then seen another review. Somebody was saying that uh, they didn't like it because uh, it kind of gave a gunky and not much of a matte black. It was more of a kind of a glossy. No, I don't want that kind of glossy look under the wheel wheel and engine bay. I want to go with that matte black look. So uh, I think I'm going to go with these two first. And I kind of did like how that looked. But what else I got? Just went to the dollar store, got some painter tape, you know, like three of those. I'm only doing a wheel wheel, so probably only gonna use two back in front. Uh, some more stuff has in case I wanna 
I, I use some steel wool to get all the oil and stuff off the frame. But let me use this, see what this do. I think the steel wool will work better than that, but I just got that with that solid stove was done. You know me. Gloves, I need gloves. I, don't, I hate getting oil and stuff all on my hands, man. They had these adults though, these I don't know, these some <laughs> house mom cleaning gloves. I'm gonna have to cut these little polka dot part out. But uh they're all there already, man. Might as well give me a little snack. Loving me some vanilla wafers. Loving some of the vanilla wafers. They didn't have glass stoppers, but they had my second favorite runs. So uh I'm about to go ahead and tape up this wheel wheel. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the paint today, but uh, I know I'm gonna hit it first thing in the morning. Get back with y'all. Man, been at it since 10 o'clock. It's about, it's about 2.20 right now. Hitting up getting the first coat of undercoat and the wheel well and the engine bay. Try to check that out. Ended up taking that battery tray out. That mug. That mug so rusty. God damn. At least I ain't got no holes in. I ain't got no holes under my engine bay, so I'm good. Didn't rush through. First coat. About to let it dry for an hour, hit it one more good time. Only gonna probably do two coats. Look ashy a little bit. Went with a matte black. Transmission wheel. Hit up, uh, hit up, finish that a little bit. Hit up in there. I'm gonna hit that up too. Pretty good. This is only a first coat. Yeah, got all in between there. under too. I need to hit up under there a little more though. I don't think I hit that side that much. Need to hit that transmission wheel, wall, bay, whatever you want to call it. Transmission bay. <laughs> Got the engine bay, the transmission bay. Hit all 
that. Got to sell it there too. I didn't want to go with no gloss, so I went with a matte black. Flat black, matte black, whatever you want to call it. Batman black. <laughs> 